Hey guys, so Brickstone here at DragCon, which apparently I misunderstood. Um, it does not stand for Dragon Convention. It's, uh, it, is a, it is a drag queen convention, which is still good. That's still lots of fun. We're still gonna have uh, plenty of interviews and make the best of it. But uh, hey, you know, just like uh, dragons, drag queens are fierce, fiery, and only idiots are afraid of them. So let's go talk to some queens. Be 100% honest. If I went full bore, 100%, really dedicated myself to it, could I become one of the world's top drag queens? Let's see, let's get into the bone structure. Let's get into the booty. Let's see the booty, baby. I have that. Oh, okay. I have that, actually. And let me see you. I need you to give me a one, two, and three, four. I can't. I'm actually, I got to uh, see a little bit. I got to. Uh, we got to have a little dance on this th I think we found my line. I guess I can't. Do you think I have a shot at at least being one of the top straight drag queens? No. Okay. Do I have a <laughs> shot at being one of the top straight drag queens who also got away with being the anthrax guy? Let me tell you something. If you want to be the top drag queen, you better learn how to speak drag queen. Right. Oh, yes, I understand that. Do you I'm know not. any of the lingo? I know a little bit. I've had some of it yelled like at me by you, friends. When you come to ask me a question, she'd be like, What's the tea, bitch? What's your tea? Try it. What is the tea? <laughs> I am here with Chad Michaels at DragCon. I am so happy that you made all these people wait so I could talk to you. Morgan McMichael's name comes from the fact that you, Chad Michaels, are her uh, drag, drag mother. Correct. Does that mean that your drag mother was Chad Michael Murray? <laughs> it might have been Chad Michael Murray. It might have been, uh, is there another Chad Michael too? Is Chad Michael Murray the cute one? It was him. Oh, it was? It actually was him. I guess right. The fact that you could Great. not get high as Great. a contestant on Drag Race was extremely unfair. unfair. We wanted to see who Laganja really is. That's now who Laganja is while going through rehab. Amen. I'm here at DragCon with Mrs. Kasha Davis. How are you, Mrs. Davis? Oh, I'm terrific. Since I'm standing next to you and I'm really close to the bar. So are there a lot of protesters outside? It says you must be born again. Is that a reference to Born This Way, the Gaga song? No, no, it's not. Have you ever been fooled by a drag queen? No, no. <laughs> but how would you know if they fooled you? Oh, fooled in which way? That you mistook them for a lady. Oh, yes, yes. You that, have been? Some, uh, not in your sexual ways, but just crossing the street, and I thought, there's a beautiful woman. And someone told me, hey, that was a guy. What advice do you have for someone who wants to be a good Christian, but finds out the prostitute they're with has balls? Boy, that's a tough one. I wouldn't tell anybody about it. I kind of... But if you, you would have been here for any event. Any event. Just to spread the any word. Event. Like, we go to the Staples Center for, 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 for all the basketball games and everything. We're not against basketball. Well, you should be. Have you seen how they treat their wives? <laughs> and I want to say you're a very nice yeah. man, so I'm yeah. very disappointed. <laughs> what brings you here today? Well, I make my living as a female drag queen. And I rap and, you know, have fans and stuff. You rap? I show do. Oh, who are your favorite rappers? Uh, well, Faith Evans is one of them, and she's here today. Faith it's Evans is here? Yeah, I let's go. Evans. Come on. Let's, <laughs> well, let's. There's an idea I wanted to run by you. I'd love to have you involved. So you know how a lot of states have made those gay conversion centers illegal? I put a bit on one. I want to convert it to an ironic gay uh, resort. Okay. Here's the thing, though. We're still going to let people whose families think it's a gay conversion center send their family, send their family members there. Okay. And then when they show up, we're just like, all right, well, if anybody asks, we tried. Let's play some volleyball. <laughs> Technically, we are going to be trying to convert people to straight, but our method is just to get all the gayness out of your system. Right. Just get it all out, every drop. I'm in. How much do you need? Oh, no, all I need is your time. <laughs> your time, madam. Jocelyn, who is someone who's never done drag that you would love to see as a drag queen? Bianca Del Rio. As you know, Mary Cheney compared drag to blackface, and I understand that offended a lot of people. Is it possible, though, she is Dick Cheney's daughter, she just loves blackface? Mary Cheney's Dick Cheney's daughter. Yes. I thought that was his wife. Did I get the wrong? No, I think you're right. I think she just needs to um, age-defying. I'm thinking maybe she saw, like, RuPaul in a dress she owns and said, now I hate drag queens. One thing that I've noticed as a layman, you know, new to drag culture, is that every time a TV show has a drag character, they always get like the burliest, hairiest, uh -huh. least passable drag queen possible. So my question is, why are all these TV shows only hiring Willem? 
But you know what? He needs the work. Uh, the, you know, the beard thing, it, it really helps him out. Is there one person who's never done drag that you would love to see in drag that you'd love to paint? Ah, uh, fuck. Um, Anyone in the world? Willem. I'd like to see Willem do drag. That would be fun, right? And I, and I, big fan of Willem's. Absolutely. I'm, just... I'm absolutely a big fan. And I'm a big fan of his beard, too. Do you want to know who Jon Snow's mother is? Because I feel like I'm just wasted all my research for here. Sure. Uh, do, you, do you really want to know? Yeah. Okay, Jon Snow's mother is actually...